way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. Hey, Fred, come on, take it. Oh, no, they can't take that away from me. <laughs> hey, Fred, you know the words. I know them backwards. I hear them in my sleep. Ah, uh, well, I have to rehearse. Do you have any idea what it's like to be 14? In a locker room and find yourself humming, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered? God, yes. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep it down, okay? Was there something else? I need to talk to you. I want to take music lessons. Fred! Son! No, no, no. Don't hug me and get all excited. We're not going to go shopping for sheet music together. <laughs> I just um, want to know if you'll pay. Oh, of course I'll pay. I'll be glad to. The after-school music program? Oh, this is wonderful, Fred. <laughs> um, have you chosen an instrument yet? Probably something loud and electric. <laughs> You know, the lessons are pretty expensive. Yeah, but music, Fred, music. Ah, being a musician, it's a worthwhile endeavor. And uh, it'll give you something to fall back on in case this hoodlum thing doesn't work out. Señor, ¿qué prefiere comer? ¿Un pollito en una salsa de vino o tamales? You say tamales, please, Mara, I am begging you. Please, don't make me eat another tamale. Otra vez tamales. Entonces, ¿para qué me fregué tomando clases de cocina francesa? Hi, Lorraine. How was your vacation? I was visiting my mother. That was hardly a vacation. May not have been for you, but I feel like a new man. I am so anxious to see Fred. Mm. Is he coming straight home from school today? Uh, detention. He's there five days a week. You know, I think they made him president. So I take it he hasn't been going to his music lessons? He hasn't? I don't know. I'm asking you. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sure he's gone. I mean, I've paid for six of them already. Has he been practicing? <laughs> oh, this, this, this is so like you. I, you. You are totally oblivious to anything that's going on around you. Well, I, I just figured he was practicing at school. Dudley, if he's going to live here, you're going to have to follow up. What in the world made me think you could do this job? Lorraine, don't ask me to go into your head again. It's dark in there. <laughs> Paul, am I oblivious? Well, I'd have to say... Lorraine is really very disturbed about this. She said I don't pay attention. Then she said, uh, oh, I don't know, something else. Oh, God, here we go again. Just once, I'd like to go to a restaurant when it wasn't somebody's birthday. Anyway, I mean, so what if I don't notice the occasional new haircut? I notice the thing that really matters. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry, Paul. I forgot your birthday again. Oh, uh, 
That's okay. Uh, birthdays aren't really all that important to me. Oh, excuse me, Dudley. I'm gonna make my wish. What? In... Uh, that doesn't matter. That, that, that wouldn't have come true anyway. And even if it did, she'd take me for everything I've got. I, I'm sorry, Paul. I mean... There must be a way I can make this up to you. Well, the traditional approach is, you know, what? A gift. A gift? A gift, yeah. How, how, um, how do I normally buy gifts? I do that for you. Well, then, this should be simple. <laughs> well, what I was kind of hoping is that this year you'd go and pick something out that I would like. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, um, but of, of, of all the things I, I, of course, know you'd like, which one would you <laughs> like the, the, the most? <laughs> you have no idea what I'd like. God, you're right. I mean, uh, you're my oldest friend. How's this possible? Well, uh, you know, you're, you're just, uh, you're a little self-absorbed. I am. <laughs> I'm self-absorbed. We've all got our faults. My wife thinks that I'm too preoccupied with my work. It's just because occasionally I call her by your name. <laughs> uh, could we focus here a little? I mean, we're trying to deal with the fact that I'm self-absorbed. I'm sorry. I thought the fact that you were in that story made the it... Lorraine was right, you know. I mean, I, I'm so caught up in my own life that um, I haven't even noticed whether or not Fred was practicing. Practicing what? <laughs> Something loud and electric. Like what, a vacuum? I've been paying for his music lessons and I don't even know what he's playing. Well, I, I haven't written any checks for music lessons. Oh, no, I, I, I gave him cash. Cash? Now what? Uh, didn't it ever occur to you that Fred might be doing something else with that money? I think it would be a good idea if you, if you were to look into that. Uh, all, all right, how do, you, how do you do that? Well, you could do what my wife does when she's suspicious of me. She, she ransacks my room. Your room? You have separate rooms? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you're the only person I've ever admitted that to. Why me? Because I'm reasonably certain you'll forget. believe you gave him cash. Why didn't you just hand him your ATM card? Yeah. yeah. Well, as usual, you're right, Lorraine. Uh, <clears throat> Dudley. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm not completely clear on what we're doing here. He has to be spending that music lesson money on something. Just look for things you haven't seen here before. I haven't been in here before. <laughs> and might I add, I'm never coming back. <laughs> Isn't it wrong to be going through his things? Look, this is basic parenting. Kids don't want to tell you what they're doing, so you have to look for clues, and then you put everything together. Clues. All right, fine. Ah. <laughs> this is the single filthiest clue I have ever seen in my life. Does Marta ever clean in here? No. She, uh, she sometimes throws a bug bomb in and crosses herself. Just look under the bed. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. You look under the bed. Just keep searching, Dudley. Oh! Oh, no. I've just found a clue, Lorraine, and I think it's worse than we thought. A bong. A bong? Yeah, a bong. <laughs> they smoke that, that stuff with it. Dudley, this is a snorkel. Oh. He used to go skin diving when we lived in California. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, uh hi, hello? Fred. Um, I love what you've done with the place. Why are you in my room? Well, well we're, uh... we're looking for something. Uh, we don't know what it is, but we're reasonably sure that once we find it, we'll be incredibly angry. 
believe this. I have no privacy whatsoever. <clears throat> Mara, there's someone at the door. Bueno, ¿y por qué siempre me gritan cuando suena el timbre? <laughs> Look, I'll get the door. It'll give you time to go through my backpack. Hey, just a minute, Fred. What did you do with the money I gave you for music lessons? If this is his music teacher, we'll be really embarrassed. If this is his music teacher, I'll marry you again. <laughs> please, God, please don't let it be his music teacher. Ah, Fred, Fred, I'm glad I caught you here. Listen, I know you said to give you the money tomorrow at school, but you see, I can't be at school tomorrow because I have to go to the doctor so we can confirm what we already know. I'm pre -ulcerous. Idiots. <laughs> This is just a really bad time. Hey, you're telling me. Hey, you must be the bristles. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Sam Goldstein, how you doing? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, he's really got to go. Sam, hi. Uh, did I hear you mention something about money? Oh, yeah, yeah, right here, right here. I'm a little new at this, but I have a feeling Sam is a veritable clue fest. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no, this is just some money Fred loaned me. For lunch. For lunch? Seventy-five dollars? Well, I, I got the special. What's this, Lorraine? <laughs> and what was that special? <laughs> I don't get what the big deal is. So I lent the guy some money. Out of the goodness of your heart? Of course. And why else? You know I love this guy. So does this mean I don't have to pay for the rest of the interest? Uh, interest? <laughs> Clues are falling like rain. <laughs> How much interest? Oh, about 30% compounded daily. <laughs> about 30% compounded daily? <laughs> well, that's, uh... My God, Lorraine, our son is a loan shark. But can I tell you, just the nicest loan shark you'd ever want to meet, right, Fred? <laughs> Get out of here, Sam. I hope we can meet again under happier circumstances. You're grounded, Fred. What for? What for? <laughs> What's left? <laughs> I mean, you, you took advantage of me, you exploited your friend, and by the way, you're gonna pay every cent of that back. Yeah, uh, no buts. You're grounded, you can't use the telephone, you're going to bed without any dinner, and too bad for you, it's tamale night. <laughs> seems he doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. I think we need some professional help. You mean like a good criminal lawyer? I was talking about therapy. I'm already in therapy. I mean for Fred. No one talks about me anymore. Will you please stop fidgeting? I'm just a little anxious, okay? Our son's about to come home from his first therapy session. Oh, and wouldn't you know, I forgot to get batteries for the camcorder. <laughs> I think we should have sent him to my therapist. Oh, yeah, well, that's a good idea. Send him to a man who knows me only as the biggest mistake you've ever made in your life. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Where did we go wrong? Well, my guess is somewhere between will you marry me and what are my clothes doing on the sidewalk? <laughs> Do you think Fred's talking about us? No, I don't think that at all. I think he's talking about you. <laughs> Fred! How'd it go? Fine. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, won't you tell us what your therapist had to say? Well, let's just leave it at this. It's one of your faults. <laughs> he was looking at you. Hey, Crouton, guess what? I've got Paul's birthday gift. <laughs> you know, I've been racking my brain for days trying to figure out what he'd like. It's amazing you make it into work under all that pressure. But today in Bloomingdale's, I found it. It's so simple, yet so perfect. It's a tie. How did you know? It was on the news. It's in a tie box, you idiot. Oh. Oh, Paul's gonna love this. 
Let me see if I can explain something to you, Dudley. A tie is the dullest, most unimaginative gift one human being can give to another. It is? Yeah, it's a gift that says, I don't care. <laughs> it's like giving a fruit basket. That's what you gave me last Christmas. <laughs> see, it's an insult. Oh, Ralton, have a tie. Oh. Hello, Dudley. Paul, I, I know I said I, I, I'd get your gift today, and I, and I will. I, I just have to go to a family session with Fred's therapist, but right after that, I'm going shopping. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Where did you get that tie? It's a gift. Oh, <laughs> wow! You like it? I like it. Do you know how all your life you have an idea of perfection, and you've never quite been able to find it, especially in neckwear? <laughs> That's what that tie is for me. <laughs> it's yours, Paul. Happy birthday! <laughs> that is unbelievable. You mean, in order to avoid shopping, you're gonna try to take Crouton's beautiful, beautiful tie and give it to me? I, wait a minute. I, I bought that tie for you, and he persuaded me not to give it to you. Tell him, Crouton. Okay. He bought it for you, and I talked him out of giving it to you. Paul, oh, if you really like my tie here, it's yours. <laughs> you see, there's a friend. These first family sessions can be tricky. So do either of you have any questions before I bring Fred in? Uh, yeah, I do, I do have a question. Um, you know, I've, I've recently become attentive. Um, and uh, I, I haven't noticed any change in Fred's behavior. Oh, Mr. Bristol, therapy takes time. It's a process. He's not going to become a different boy overnight. Hi, Fred. Come on in. <laughs> this is not my son. Okay. Denial. That's very common in family therapy. Dr. Singer, you don't understand. That boy is not Fred. Of course he is. I've been seeing him every other day for two weeks. <laughs> it's the kid, you know, the hypochondriac. Family, family, if we could just try to avoid labeling. <laughs> On the contrary, I think labeling might be a good idea at this point. Let's just label this kid Sam Goldstein, shall we? How you doing? You're not Fred Bristol? Technically, no. <laughs> Sam, uh, what are you doing here? Fred said that if I went to his therapy sessions for him, I wouldn't have to pay for the rest of the loan. Fred is just the best. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing here? I told you not to come here today. Oh, like I'm really gonna miss this session, Fred. We just found out yesterday, I'm an enabler. <laughs> Dr. Singer, this is Fred Bristol. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I, I can't believe this, Fred. I mean, if you've never seen this woman before, how did you expect to walk in here today and get through uh, family therapy? Fred, why did you do this? We were only trying to help you. No, you were paying someone to help me. No, we were paying someone to help him. <laughs> well, that's our time. <laughs> now, Fred, Fred, it's just not that easy. Do you realize what confusion you caused? Do you understand how ridiculous this makes Dr. Singer look? Hold on, bucko. I did my job. <laughs> Dr. Singer, uh, Fred and I have a few things to figure out. Uh, we could use your help. Could you stay a little while? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Sam, uh, let me take you out to dinner. Oh, great. Great. But I, I can't have anything fried. And spicy. Well, that's just the memory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope we're not putting you out. This should only take a few minutes. It's none of your business. I, I'm not buying that, Fred. Mr. Bristol, do you think we could try to find a way to wrap this up? One more hour, just one more hour. I really think we're getting somewhere. Mr. Bristol, I feel it's my professional duty to inform you. You're not even in the ballpark. Sure, we, we must be. I mean, where do we leave off? I believe Fred was saying... It's none of your business. You see, that's what I have to deal with. Uh, he won't communicate with me. God, what do I have to do to get out of here? Fred's brought up a very good question. You have to at least explain to me 
why you went through this loan shocking nonsense. Then can I leave? Yes. I wanted to go to California. Why, opening a West Coast branch? <laughs> Why, Fred? It's none of your business. And we're back. <laughs> Are you unhappy? Is, is it New York? Is it the teenage thing? I mean, I know it's tough being your age, conflicting emotions, all the mood swings. You know, I find that sometimes after a good night's sleep, all these problems are gone in the morning. I left L.A. fast, you know. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to people. I figured if I made some money, I could go back there this summer. I miss it. I see. <laughs> Why didn't you just ask me for the money? I don't know. I know what I did is wrong, but it seemed better than asking you. <laughs> you don't ask me for anything, Fred. I never know what you're thinking. I never know what you're feeling. Oh, uh, uh, perhaps we could spend a, a moment on that. <laughs> no, I don't have anything to talk about. Well, I have plenty to talk about. You never listen to anything I say. You never say anything. Okay, folks. Here's the short strokes. You don't tell him your feelings because you don't trust him yet, and you expect him to trust you, but up until now, you haven't been around long enough to earn that trust. You won't ask him for anything because you don't want to need him, and you don't want to let him need you because that would be a commitment, okay? <sighs> That'll be $8,000. It's a lot of money. Want to take out a loan? No. Thank you. I think she's right. Uh, no, um, she can't be. I mean, what she's describing is total chaos. Yeah, she's wrong. <laughs> we don't need therapy. No, we don't. We don't. Hey. Are we agreeing on something, Fred? We are. We're agreeing on something. Uh-huh. Maybe it's the therapy. No. No. Sometime next week. I'll make the appointment. <laughs> Same therapist? I don't know. She seems a little self-absorbed. <laughs> Our all-new Friday continues with Designing Women. Then, Shelley Long, the marriage counselor, shares an office with Treat Williams, a divorce lawyer. Will they ever see eye to eye? Find out on Good Advice, followed by Bodies of Evidence, tonight.